three clips here. One here, one here, and one here. And we supply this little blue tile thing just to get a nice ramp underneath each one of these. And then we're just gonna shove a business card in there to keep them from reclipping. So I'm just gonna go underneath and ramp up. And then we can slide a business card. Keep it from clipping in. We'll just do that for the rest of them. Ramp up. Put a business card in there. Keeps it from reclipping. And the third one. I'll just slide a business card in there. Keep it from reclipping. Then we'll reach around the back side here. We'll pull up. And we'll start pulling this out. And watch out for right here. And pull that straight up. Like so. Now that we have it out, we'll be able to insert our grill stuck. So this does happen. And if you get to this point, and you've got the part like this, you have enough room to actually get in here and do the, the uh, cable ties around this area. So as this one is stuck right now, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna pull up here, and we're gonna do the install with this centerpiece stuck. Sometimes it comes out, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna go get the grill and we'll be back. All right, here's uh, one of the pieces that I supplied with the kit. This one comes with the, the two spacers. This is that next level of install. We're gonna show it using these, but you can still just use this center cable tie in place of this. So we'll show it doing that both ways. Wanna make sure we keep this center here because we're gonna be coming back we're going to be putting these spacers in place. So we're going to take out the two extra cable ties we use, and we're going to be placing this into the cavity. Try to wiggle it back into place, bring it forward. We can grab both sides of the cable tie, and move it forward. Connect the cable tie on this end, sliding it underneath that trim piece that we have. We'll just loosely connect it right now because we'll adjust the grill. And we'll rotate that receiving end towards the back. And this is where that next level install. I'm going to take one of these. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it through the top. We're going to wrap the cable tie around. And then we're going to pass it back through that spacer. So now once we pass it back through there, we're going to pass it back into the hexagon where the receiving end is coming out. Like so. Thread that back there. And then what we do is we reach our hand around. I'm gonna walk around here. Reach our hand back through here. This is where small hands work. And we're gonna Reach back here, push the receiving end towards the back, and then we're going to connect them up, which is quite difficult, but not impossible. And 
And we need to get the last one in place. Right here. We'll slide that. secure and we will do the final alignment and then rotate the receiving ends back on themselves get that final alignment and you can pull use a hook tool and pull this part forward it's going to seat in between this bottom piece. So you can pull that forward or push that down, push the ducting down and push the grill forward. And it'll sit right in a groove in the channel down there. Like so. Secure this middle one, tightening up this middle one to hide. Hide the cable tie. Secure this one. Rotating the receiving end back to hide it. Secure this one. Rotating the receiving end back to hide it. Clip off the ends. Reinstall the trim piece, and you're complete. Squeeze them together, and you're complete. And clip off. This one, got to reach in here and clip it off. Pain in the butt, but what we do for our vehicles. It's nice and tight, and clip it off nice and close. Be sure not to cut the receiving end though. Or right, you gotta do it over. And pull out, hopefully both together. Yeah. There we go. And the last one, make sure it's nice and tight. And clip off.